Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Blooming Gel Marble Tutorial. Uh, the items that you will need will be Eye Gel Beauty's Blooming Effect Gel, uh, which will help the colors kind of melt together for that marble effect. You're also going to need the nails you plan to do. I have prepped three with primer and base coat. And you will need a dotting tool, uh, a small dotting tool, and a mixing palette. You'll also want to have the colors that you plan to do um, for your nails. Uh, up to four colors will work good. The first look I'm going to do with these four colors are passionate peach we belong together shocking pink and baby powder so orange yellow pink and white uh, you're going to roll your colors um, if you don't use them very often just to mix up the pigment and you want to put down like stripes of color i guess um, the color that you want to be most prominent you want to use the most of uh, this look i want to use a little bit I guess more orange so you want to put the colors as close to one another as possible um, they don't have to touch but the closer the better we're gonna go in with this really vibrant pink and put that right up against the yellow and lastly baby powder now with white i try not to do as much white as the other colors um and i do put it right there just a tiny little bit just to break up the colors just want to wipe that off so i don't contaminate the bottle and what you want to do is take your dotting tool and just literally swirl the colors together it's real simple just up and down just blend them together and then you can go across the other way just to mix them up a little bit more if you want to. You don't have to do it that way, but you can. So you want to get your brush. This brush is the cheapest little brush. It I only use it for marble. Uh, super flat. <laughs> it's been through it, but it works really well for this. It doesn't have to be an expensive brush at all. And just a piece of... Um, paper towel will do just to wipe off any uh, excess now with this blooming gel I've noticed it's really really thick to me so I try to do as thin of a layer as possible um, I don't want you know it to be too thick on the nail and not cure properly so a very very thin layer of it is sufficient you want to take your um, brush and just kind of start scooping up the color wherever you want to you can start from any place and you want to wiggle it down and it'll start to kind of spread out on its own you come in from a different direction and just wiggle it down and you'll see it kind of mix together and blend together by itself and that's all you got to do just want to wiggle it and at the edges I like to take the brush and just kind of pull any um, spots that don't have paint on them and just lay it down however much you want without making it too thick and that's it I like to leave a little clear spot I think it's just really pretty and that's all once you get it how you like it want to wipe off the edge just for any paint that may have piled or pooled right there and just stick it and your light for 60 seconds to give it a full cure and that's it and while it's in the light I go ahead and clean off my dotting tool and my brush uh, clean off my palette and get ready for the next set of colors typically I do 20 nails for my press-ons um, so I may halfway through have to go in and lay back down the colors again to make sure I have enough but for this example that's it <laughs> so the next colors that I'm gonna do we're gonna start with uh, baby powder which is just that white I'm gonna lay that down first I think with this look I only did three colors um, instead of the four 
I haven't tried more than four colors just because I think it'll be too thick. So I try to stick to, you know, four max. Uh, Laser Lemon, which is a really pretty neon kind of highlighter yellow color. Super cute for the summer. I just want to lay that down next to the white. And I'm kind of pushing it to get it as close as possible. Check the brush. It didn't really mix. Get on the brush. Um, At Midnight, which is just a black. A really, really good black. Has great coverage. And we're just going to lay that down right next to the white. And these are the three colors that we're going to be using for this particular um, look. And take your dotting tool and just I'm gonna swirl them together this particular time I don't go back and forth the other way I just go in one direction so again this nail is prepped with primer and base coat and we're going to put down a very thin layer of the blooming gel um, if you want to go a little bit thicker with the blooming gel your colors will spread a little bit more but again, be very careful because you want it to cure properly. So scoop up the color where you want to start and wiggle it down. That's it. Just scoop it up and lay it down. You don't need to reload your brush to um, get the edges. You can kind of just use whatever is already on the brush just to pull it, you know, pull it to the edges. But don't keep adding polish because, again, you want a proper cure. And there we have it. Those three colors are so pretty together. And then we're just going to put that in the light for 60 seconds. And we are moving on to the final set of colors. Uh, electric Blue, Atmospheric, and Neapolitan Sky, and Baby Powder. This is how you get the like ocean wave look with these particular colors. Um, three different shades of blue and just a little bit of white. Super pretty. Just want to make sure everything is cleaned off really well before you um, start with your next colors. This electric blue is so freaking pretty. It's so bright. Uh, it's definitely my favorite blue to use. Uh, Atmospheric has like a tealy kind of greenish undertone. Super pretty. Just a little bit of that. And this uh, Neapolitan Sky is like a navy blue with a shimmer to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's probably my second favorite blue. <laughs> so I did put that in between the two. And I'm just wiping it off because it did get on my brush. And I don't want to put that in the bottle. And finally, Old Faithful Baby Powder. My go-to white. And just put that down and that's it. So now we are going to go ahead and swirl those colors together. Now you can swirl them any way you want to. Like if you want to start going that way first and then go back the other way up and down, you can do that as well. Um, there's no right or wrong way. We're going to go ahead and put down another very thin layer of the blooming gel. Sometimes I have to take the brush to kind of wipe off excess. And then we just scoop it up. And lay it down wherever you want it to be. I always kind of pause to see where I'm going to put it. I typically do the same direction every time, but... Sometimes I just pause to think about it. Um, that's about it. I like these nails uh, with a matte finish, but you can do glossy if you'd like. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Um, I hope I was able to, you know, answer questions. It's a super easy technique. The possibilities are endless. 
with color combinations that you can use again I wouldn't go with more than four colors but if you can get it thin enough go for it you know just don't forget to wipe off the edge and give it a cure for 60 seconds thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye